GLM is on fire. I have been covering models from this team from day one and I have never seen them so busy. We have been covering one model per day from them for the last one week almost and today we are going to install and check out this new model which is auto glm project which primarily enables you to create a phone agent on the back of this phone 9 billion model which is an open source mobile intelligent assistant framework which you can use to automate tasks on android smartphones through natural language instructions now listen very clearly because i'm going i'm sure that this is going to create some confusion the purpose of this model is to be embedded into your own mobile applications. Then you will give this model or your application an instruction in natural language to perform some task on your mobile screen. And then the model is going to translate the natural language instruction into the instruction for the mobile phone or your application in order to accomplish that task model doesn't go and click on your phone screen it primarily facilitates that interaction so i hope that's clear but let me install it locally and show you what i mean one thing i want to mention is that this model is different in a sense that it control devices using adb or android debug bridge it also enables remote operations over wi-fi or network and supports tasks like opening apps, searching content, or completing multi-step workflows such as um, open some website and search for food recommendation. So you can easily build your application on top of it and then you can have uh, your own AI powered mobile application. Another cool thing is that there are a lot of key um, safety features include confirmation prompts for sensitive actions, human in the loop and a lot of other things which it natively supports. But let's check it out. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're looking for um, a very affordable GPU, then I would suggest go to Mast Compute's website. You can find the link in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let me now install all the prerequisites. And while it installs, let's talk a bit more around this model because I think uh, Jaifu has done something really good with all of these vision uh, family model. If you look at its architecture, it is actually quite interesting. It is similar to what they produced in GLM 4.1 v 9 billion thinking, which we already have covered on the channel. And it uses chain of thought reasoning and reinforcement learning to enhance multimodal understanding, decision making and also interpretability. This enables this auto GLM agent or phone agent to perceive and reason about dynamic UI elements effectively and it has outperformed larger models in various benchmarks for GUI tasks. And you can also check out those benchmarks on their project page plus their um, Hugging Face model card and I will drop the link in video's description. Everything is downloaded and installed and now I'm going to download my model in my Jupyter Notebook. The model has been downloaded. The size is just over 20 gig as you can see. And the model is downloaded. Now let's do the inference. So I'm going to use this um, image of an Android phone app, which is a food app. And for that, the, for inference, I'm going to use this code where I'm loading this image from my local system. And the prompt is to select medium option. So this is a medium option. So I'm just looking to see what model does first, whether it is able to understand this layout of screen, what I'm asking, and then if it is able to give the instructions in proper way to uh, select the medium option. So let's run this while it runs. Let's also check the VRAM consumption. It is consuming touch over 20 gig of VRAM. So if you're building an application on top of it, make sure you have that much VRAM. And meanwhile, it has returned the response to so see. It says that I can see the screenshot which shows a food item detail page for dal something. You see, I'm not sure if it got this thing right. So I think it just converted it to Chinese here. 
great indian taste which is this subtitle there is a select option section with three option half medium and full which is correct it has also got the numbers right so vision is quite good and it has identified the user wants to select the medium option i need to tap on the medium option which is the second option in the list and then it is also already done the coordinates that the medium option appears to be around this coordinate and this coordinate and let me tap on the medium so now um, from here you can build the application by taking this coordinate and click on the screen and do your stuff I have also checked out their GitHub repo. They have some code samples there, but um, if you you can take some inspiration from there too as how to go about it. But this is what you primarily you need to do if you are building your own app for your own use case in order to control your phone screen. Let's try out another example. Okay, in this one, I am going to give it this home page of a phone, and I am just asking it check if there is any new email. I want to see how it proceeds. Not only I'm checking if it is able to detect this Gmail icon and identify and relate it to this email, plus what exactly it does in terms of checking. So there you go. It says I can see the phone is currently on the home screen showing various apps, including all of these. The user wants to check if there is any new email to check for new email. I need to tap on the Gmail app and so it has identified which app is related to email and then it is talking about it appears to be in the second position from the left in the row of apps so second position in the row of apps looking at the coordinates and it has given us a coordinates too and this is the answer do action tap element and this is what we need which we can simply embed it in our mobile app to start actioning it how good is that and now let's test out if model can select the date for us. So I'm just giving it this AI generated image again. And I'm asking the model, I'm looking for a date. Please select one for me. Let's see what model selects. Let's run this. And meanwhile, you guys can also suggest if you like, of course, and totally hypothetical scenario. Okay. So it says, it says, I can see this is a date, date selection interface. There are two profile. Image is displayed side by side and below each is a button. The left profile has this, this, so it is understanding it correctly. Since you're looking for a date and asking me to select one for you, I should select the profile with the green check mark, the right one. This is the profile that was already marked as a potential match. So you see how diplomatic the model is. And then uh, it can also give you the exact coordinates. It's not giving me here. Maybe I would just need to increase this max new tokens but you can already tell the model's vision is really spot on and it hasn't really missed uh, many beats i mean maybe one or two but overall i think this is one of the best phone agent i have seen so far and i have covered a lot of them on the channel that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member let me know what do you build um, out of this model should be fun if you're looking for AI updates on AI without any hype, without fluff, please follow me on X. Thank you for all the support.